Are we working? Now you are. Now we're working. Call this meeting to order, and I'd like to welcome all our guests. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, Laurie Salafia from the military. If you have some words for us from the military. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you. And I would like to also welcome Zach Potter. Zach and Zach. There's Zach from the Sanford Herald. And if you now join me for a moment of silence, please. Thank you. And if you would now stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, we have no uh, public commenters tonight, so I will proceed with, uh, with our beliefs as a school system. All students can achieve at high levels regardless of ethnicity, race, or socioeconomic background. Education is economic development. Data analysis should guide instructional decisions. Quality teachers are the key to effective student learning. All students and teachers should have access to innovative instructional practices and technology. Safe and nurturing schools are a prerequisite for teaching and learning. Effective and efficient support systems are necessary to support student and employee success. Positive relationships are the key for effective community partnerships. Is there a motion to approve the agenda, please? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve tonight's agenda. Is there, a in 2015. is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, li like sign. Hearing none, the, the agenda is approved. Uh, I would also uh, entertain a motion to approve the minutes for October 13th, 2015, October 26th, 2015, and October 29th, 2015. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of October 13th, October 26th, and October 29th, 2015. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The motion carries. The minutes are approved. Uh, we can now uh, continue with reports, and I'd like to call on Mark Stevens to uh, present our audit report. And you f should have an audit report. That's the blue book. Everybody should. I didn't get one tonight. I have one. I forgot to bring it. You do have it at home. I do.
report is a financial statement, I call it a clean letter. <coughs> and it is a clean, unmodified report, and that is exactly what you want to receive. And that basically means that we feel as though all of the amounts that are presented in the report are reliable and free from any, any material misstatement and presented in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. And a uh, unmodified opinion is the highest level of assurance that you can receive in a financial statement audit. Okay? And on page 52 of the report, which is the first of three letters that we issued that relate to the compliance testing, uh, which also covers the testing of internal controls and the expenditure of state and federal grant awards. And all three of these letters are also clean unmodified reports, uh, which means there were no internal control weaknesses, no findings, no quest question cost reflected in any of these letters. <coughs> uh, so again, these letters, they're as good as it's going to get in writing from an audit standpoint. Okay? Your fund balance levels at year end and all of the board's major funds were deemed to be adequate, and the district was deemed to be in good financial condition as of uh, June 30th, 2015. Um, so again, overall, the audit went very well. We were very pleased with what we saw from both a, a financial and a compliance perspective. And uh, if anyone has any questions about anything that was in the clean report, I'll be glad to try to answer them. Any questions from the board? I also wanted to add to that because this was the first time that I'd sat on this particular committee during this time and, and he answered a slew of questions from my point of just trying to understand exactly what we had in front of us and I really appreciate the, the documentation and the time that I had to review it and so forth. And thank you for that. Thank you, Dale. And, and, and Mark, how, how many years have we been recognized for our financial compliance uh, as being stellar? Anybody have that information? Oh, 19 years. Yeah. 19 years time. we've been recognized for a stellar financial report. That's awesome. Mr. Chair, uh, I'd just like to recognize Mark and some of the staff members that are here tonight. Please. Just recognize them for all their great efforts in making this making this work, making it possible. Now, I would like to thank them for their hard work. I mean, we're, we're quite a burden when we come in, and they, they do a great <laughs> job. They do a great job of getting things ready and, and, and trying to get us in and out. And, uh, but really, overall, they y'all have a very well-run finance department. Sure do. We go to a lot of places, and, and y'all have a very well-operated finance staff. Well, we certainly appreciate you and, and your uh, your firm for making us legal. <laughs> and Mr. Stevens, compliments to, on you and your staff from the board. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, under Chairman's report, uh, first item, is the North Carolina School Board Association Conference is scheduled for November 16th through the 18th, 2015 at the Curry Center in Greensboro. Uh, five of us are currently registered to attend on Monday the 16th. The opening session begins at 9 a.m. And uh, why don't we plan to carpool and meet at the central office at 745 and we can arrange how we're gonna ride. Also on Monday, November the 16th, to compli complicate matters, <laughs> uh, we're to meet with the county commissioners concerning uh, the new Wicker school site at 6.30. So I looked over the schedule and it looks to me that if we leave Greensboro after the first general session at four o'clock, we can be home in time for the 6.30 meeting with, with the county commissioners. Okay. On Tuesday, the second day of the meeting, at four o'clock, uh, our, our board nominated the Lee County Board of Commissioners for the North Carolina School Board County Commissioners of the Year Award, and they have been selected. The Board of Commissioners will be recognized at the North Carolina School Board Award Ceremony on Tuesday, November the 17th at 4.30 4 p.m. If you're interested in attending, please let Susan Britton know by Thursday, November the 12th. 
There will be a $55 fee for those who plan to attend. Afterwards, we have dinner reservations at Outback House at 6.45 p.m. if you're interested. So I think it would certainly be in our best interest being that our county commissioners are going to be recognized as the county commissioners of the year for the North Carolina <coughs> School Board Association for the state. And I think it certainly would be behoove us to have a good representation. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess my question would be, uh, well, well, we'll address that. Uh, we'll address the fee at some other time. And I, I would like to make uh, a bit <coughs> of a statement. Uh, uh, as reported in the media, uh, comments have been made recently questioning the value of teacher assistance. I'm sure most everybody is aware of that. And I think it's appropriate that on behalf of the Board, Board of Education, we express our sincere appreciation for all that our teacher assistants do for our students. It would be difficult to imagine our school system without teacher assistance, in fact. So from the Board of Education, thank you for your service to our school and be assured you have our total support. And uh, we can continue now with the superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this time I'd like to recognize superintendent's extra effort award. And um, it's, not <clears throat> it's not very often that, uh, that uh, a recipient of the extra effort award um, gets so much publicity for what they did. Um, I would like to ask uh, Gabriel Reynolds, who is uh, distance, in charge of the distance lab uh, here at Lee County High School and also the girls basketball uh, varsity coach to come forward. Um, Gabriel uh, helped organize and, and actually got them down here, the uh, WNCN uh, pep rally last Friday. And for those of you who don't know who what, what that is, uh, WNCN holds a pep rally every Friday at a uh, sort of a regional uh, school in the area and uh, uh, Gabriel uh, begged and borrowed and sort of uh, encouraged uh, WNCN to come down uh, for last Friday and uh, it made for a really early morning for everybody but um, it was a really neat experience for our students and our sponsors and uh, not only was the football team recognized uh, for their efforts, but also our fall sports in general, which a lot of times some of the, some of the other fall sports don't get the same type of spotlight as football does, which was great. And our band and cheerleaders and some of our uh, sort of most diehard fans uh, were there. What, what time uh, did everybody have to be there? Everyone had to be there at 4.45 in the morning. I was there at 3 a.m. to uh, meet WNCN to help get everything set up. Uh, I, I thought our uh, sponsors and students did an awesome job on the air, and uh, I, I thought brought some very nice publicity to Lee County High School. And uh, if I remember correctly, Ms. Wilson, uh, we were told by um, the staff from Channel 17 that it was the largest pep rally pep rally mm -hmm. that they had had, yeah. And, and I tell you, the, I, I can't remember the, uh, the person from Channel 17, what was her? Allison uh, Corcoran. Yeah. She looked like she had a blast with, with things. And uh, it was neat to watch it on TV, and, and I thought our kids did a great job. But I think, Gabriel, all the thanks go to you and the other folks, but for you to help me organize this and get them down here and, uh, and, and just getting everybody out there at 4.45 a.m. in the morning. So Thanks. congratulations.
that. <laughs> This time I'd like to ask uh, Jim Atkinson to come forward with the uh, yeah. Clean School of the Month. Good evening again. Again, this is the second uh, monthly uh, Clean School of the Month award for 2015-16. Uh, hard work put into by Deep River Elementary School. So I'm going to ask Ms. Lundy to come up and present that to her staff a few words about it. <laughs> so this is Miss Joyce Williams and she is our wonderful dedicated one of our wonderful dedicated custodians and Miss Margie Reeves and um, our head custodian, Mr. Harold Campbell, um, I think he always comes up with a good excuse of why he can't come to board meetings. Um, I think y'all intimidate him, so at some point you'll just have to come out to Deep River and meet him. But, um, and he also is a veteran, and uh, we honored him at school today um, with a lot of the children. I just said on the morning announcements that they get a chance to give him a high five or a, a thank you, a handshake to do that, and he, he did not know that I, he was taking out the trash when I made the announcement, and so he got a lot of accolades today, and it embarrassed him a lot, which I enjoyed. But these two ladies with Mr. Campbell, um, they do such a great job, and I know I tell you this every time, but please continue to do this to honor these folks because um, they work so hard to keep our buildings clean and, and presentable to all visitors, and um, I just, I love these ladies, and we love Mr. Campbell, and we're very thankful that to get this recognition. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Atkinson. Congratulations again to Deep, Deep River. That sign's gone to that school a lot of times, if I remember yes, correctly. Yes, it has. Um, uh, finally tonight, uh, Dr. Smith, uh, on the agenda, I want to give a brief uh, overview of uh, and, a, and a, a little bit of the accountability update from some of the things that have been going on since the last meeting. Um, uh, a, a lot of this work, uh, particularly at the uh, at the secondary level, middle and high school, uh, has gone through our lead teachers. Um, we we have our weekly meeting uh, where our lead teachers have been uh, coming in after they've been meeting with teachers throughout the school district. Uh, they've been in group meetings of teachers uh, in planning periods and after school meetings, et cetera. And uh, a, a lot of times we've got um, really good feedback from that in reference to what we're doing with, uh, within the classroom per se by teacher and also sort of on a building level perspective. Uh, we have given our first uh, group of benchmark assessments and we're just getting the results back in, which are uh, currently being analyzed. Um, and my hope is that at the next meeting I'll be able to share some of the areas of work we're going to be doing based upon those mm -hmm. results. Um, and I'll include some areas of intervention that we're probably going to be doing and some areas of enrichment as well. Um, uh, we also um, um, have, have begun sort of tweaking already um, our school improvement plans that we have been either presented to you or being presented to you tonight. Um, like I said at the last meeting, um, you know, they're, they're always changing, and, and I, I think that's a positive thing, and it shows that we're making adjustments according to the conditions and the data that we get back. Um, we're also doing the same thing with our pacing guides at, at all levels, elementary, middle, and high school, and, uh, and our, our lead teachers and our principals and teachers have been adjusting um, um, throughout the course of the year based upon what we're getting back with data. And a lot of that, some of that's based upon, uh, be based upon benchmark assessments. It's also based upon teacher assessments as well, which I, I think is still uh, a gold standard for, for getting back information to how to help um, students. Uh, we've also, <coughs> as you already know, uh, made some uh, decisions on supplementary materials for, for teachers and students with 
uh, supplementary materials and um, additional support for students, for reading for students, uh, and in the content areas that um, are sort of more content specific and we feel very good about it as far as being aligned with what we're trying to teach in class. Um, we've also uh, have organized our after school tutoring sessions and we're earlier on that than what typically we have been and uh, we're going to be tying in transportation to that as well. Uh, something that I'm, I, um, I, I'm not going to go into too much detail tonight, but I'll be able to talk about it um, in a much better fashion at the next meeting. Uh, we're organizing some community support for that, for after school tutoring and uh, some tutoring in school as well. I'll, I'll have a little bit more information for you on that at the next meeting. Uh, we also have a, a plan that's near completion that will be uh, instituted for second semester with ACT tutoring support at the high school level. And uh, as I know before, uh, our school improvement plans are being reviewed again at the uh, central office. And of course, you all have all reviewed some of those uh, school improvement plans as well. We're also beginning to do some initial work. This comes from the lead teacher level, pre and post assessments and conversations we're having with, uh, with, uh, with teachers. Uh, overall, <coughs> I, I believe that our, our, our teachers and all the other educators in our school district have taken on uh, the, the growth uh, sort of goals that we have, uh, analyzing data and, and have a serious urgency about them uh, for this. And, and I think you all can probably sense that as well. But, but um, I think it's worth repeating with that. Questions for me? I just thank you for the update, Dr. Bryan. It's, it's, it's good to hear what's going on. And uh, I just want to kind of piggyback a little bit on what you're saying about the, the urgency. I'm getting that sense definitely as I go around to the different schools in the district and visiting and talking to teachers and principals. There's definitely, and at the curriculum instruction meetings that's coming out, definitely a sense of urgency, but there's also this sense of energy that I'm feeling, you know, that um, they know it's urgent, they're working on it, but this, there's their sense of urgency of let's get in there, get this done, let's make this happen. So very positive energy I'm feeling. And I've been hearing a lot about, you know, the alignment, you know, working on that alignment. And I, I know they're out there working hard. I mean, that, that's, you know, that's what I'm hearing, of course. And um, so I'm really excited about moving forward with this because I can just feel that energy. And I think that, um, you know, we're, we have a lot of work to do, but I feel like we're going to really give it all we got. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. Thank you, Dr. Bryan. Um, we can now uh, continue with committee reports. Uh, curriculum Instruction com uh, <coughs> Committee, Tamara Brogan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have been very busy at Curriculum Instruction. We've had three meetings since we had our last board meeting in September. On October 21st, we met at Southern Lee High School for a high school curriculum instruction uh, meeting. Uh, we talked about our new science lead teacher who's here in the audience this evening. Um, we also talked about the update from the lead teachers, a little bit what Dr. Bryan talked about in his report about the lead teachers and how they're working throughout the district. And I, I know that they've been visiting a lot of teachers, working um, hard with teachers and doing a lot of work throughout the whole district. So we talked about that. We also had an update on Dr. Lynn Warren's new position as a literary specialist. And she's been going around to the high schools, working with them, uh, working on, um, in helping with uh, enhancing literacy. We also talked about changing, possibly changing uh, structure of the curriculum instruction meetings. Um, we had a good discussion about that amongst the high school uh, curriculum instruction committee. And our next high school curriculum instruction committee meeting is December 2nd at Lee Early College. Then a week later, or, or a little bit later, we had October 28th, we met at West Lee Middle School for our middle school curriculum instruction committee meeting. We went over the school improvement plans for all the high schools, I mean, sorry, middle schools. Uh, they uh, were very, you know, they were detailed. They did a good job with those plans. They talked to the whole committee about them and, and kind of like I just mentioned with after Dr. Bryan's report, uh, they talked a lot about growth and we went over um, areas that they know that we need improvement, areas that are doing well. They talked about how, you know, their different goals and how they're going to implement them throughout the year. And um, 
So that took up a, you know, most of our time for that meeting. But also, uh, Dr. Chapel talked about the benchmark and EVOS data coming out soon that Dr. Brian mentioned is coming that they're analyzing. And our next middle school curriculum instruction meeting will be at Eastleigh on January 13th. Then uh, last week on November 4th, we met at Ingram Elementary for our elementary uh, curriculum instruction meeting. And for our elementary schools, we went over their school improvement plans, and we have seven elementary schools, so it took a while <laughs> to go through that. But once again, they talked about areas of need that need to be improved and growth. They talked about um, things that are going well. They talked about their <coughs> goals and how they plan to implement their goals throughout the year. We also talked about getting together as a curriculum and instruction committee mid-year to go over the progress of the goals that were mentioned in the school improvement plans. And we also talked about doing it at the end of the year to see how things went throughout the school year. So there is definitely um, a lot of energy to do that. So I see us moving forward on that. And I'd like to do that for the high school and middle schools as well. Um, so one thing I mentioned just a minute ago, but I also have met saw these meetings for the curriculum instruction is all that energy that I mentioned. Um, definitely there's a lot of excitement and rigor going into this year. Um, from everyone at the committees, and I feel like everyone's just really kind of charging in on this and going forward with these plans and, and making the changes that need to be made. So that was exciting to see that. So there were some good meetings, and I'm looking forward to the next ones. Our next meeting for elementary curriculum instruction is January 20th, and that will be at Greenwood. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's my report. Thank you, Mrs. Brogan. Uh, we can continue with the Facilities and Technology Committee. Mr. Sharp. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Our last meeting was held on October 27th, and uh, we've got a couple items on our uh, consent agenda tonight where it pertains to a, uh, a gate over here at Lee County High School and some playground equipment at Floyd L. Knight. Uh, and our next meeting will be held November 24th. And that's all. Thank you, Mr. Sharp. Uh, we can continue with Finance Committee, Mr. Akinosho. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We Thank you, Mr. Akinosho. Uh, let's continue with policy committee. Uh, uh, Mrs. Bowen. Uh, the policy committee met, and we met for an extended period of time, and I would love to tell you what date that was on, and I don't have that written. I'm scanning diligently. Aha. We met on October 20th. And we reviewed 35 different policies coming from the state and through our deliberation, five of those were delayed for later discussion, either because implementation now would conflict with other things already happening. And if we had that leeway, we, we pushed them off to save a little bit of headache on the part of our um, our school administrators. So what we have tonight, and, and you guys will listen to me talk for way too long in a few minutes, uh, we do have 30 policies on for first reading tonight. Out of those 30, um, those that generated the most discussion and I think have the biggest um, impact, uh, one of them was on employee use of social media. So I would ask the board to definitely read through those policies particularly, and if you have any feedback on those, because those are the ones that are really gonna affect everyday operation. And if there's anything in those that we think we need to codify or loosen or strengthen or whatever those particularly if you read through those and give any feedback to our committee that would be very appreciated um, so we will have 30 on for first reading tonight so any feedback on those next meeting would be fantastic and that's my report uh, mr. chairman I, I forgot to mention one thing the school improvement plans uh, will be on the website within a month once once we get them all we get through them and put them on there so the public will be able to see them I forgot to mention that I'm sorry I'm glad you uh, brought it up. Uh, several uh, comments have been made concerning our lead teachers, and uh, we have our newest lead teacher in science, Mr. David Mincy, with us this evening. Uh, if you'd stand in so we can see it. This is Mr. Mincy, he is he's, uh, in science, I understand. Welcome to our community. Thank you. 
Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move that uh, the consent agenda uh, be uh, accepted and to be both moved, uh, moved as presented. Is second. there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. The motion carries. The consent agenda is approved. Uh, we do not have any unfinished business, so we'll proceed with new business, which are board policies. And Mrs. Bowen, I will give you the floor, and uh, you got a long list, and uh, we'll just uh, work through it. Uh, make yourselves comfortable, folks. Uh, I move that the Lee County Board of Education approve the first reading of policies numbers 1310-4002, 1320-3560, 1321-4060, 1322-4060, 1323-4060, 1324-4060, 1325-4060, 1326-4060, 1327-4060, 1328-4060, 1329-4060, 1330-4060, 1331-4060, 1332-4060, 1333-4060, 1334-4060, 1035-4060, 1036-4060, 1037-4060, 1038-4060, 1039-4060, 1041-4060, 1042-4060, 1043-4060, 1044-4060, 1045-4060, 1046-4060, 1047-4060, 1048-4060, 1049-4060, 1051-4060, 1052-4060, 1053-4060, 1054-4060, 1055-4060, 1056-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 1057-4060, 